Hello and welcome again to a special edition. Let me center myself. I'll figure this out one day. Of the Hobo and his girlfriend wrestling podcast. Again, just like the shirt says, even though I am not the original hobo, I am Hobo Tom. And unfortunately, this is the first prediction I'll be doing without a girlfriend. So there will be no second person chiming in. But remember, if you can recall my major announcement last week, there is an open casting call for all you Daytona Beach ladies out there. Be the girlfriend, this guy. Again, it's free YouTube exposure, um, beer on Thursdays, red wine and pizza on Friday. Um, pizza on Friday. And various meals cooked for you. Yes. So this is a special show. And that's mainly because it's, it's a prediction show, but I'm doing two predictions. Hopefully I'll be able to see the Ring of Honor show that's coming on this Friday at 8 o'clock. I know it's on Fight TV. I have my hobo ways, though. So I might try and at least catch a sneak peek of it for free. And then it's going to be time for some WWE action in TLC. And this is actually going to be the last time I just do a recap and review. Because my suspension's lifted on the 31st, which means I have 18 more days left on my suspension, and then I'll finally be able to stream to live stream again. In fact, I'm, I, I can't wait until, I guess, the Royal Rumble's in January? Well, that'll be fun. Along with maybe Wrestle Kingdom. I have to see what my work schedule is. Please don't call me in tomorrow. I'll watch some Ring of Honor wrestling. I'll eat pizza. Drink red wine. Yes! I'm um, normally would have Dr. Tom here, but I guess he found a date. Well, I'm dateless again. Thursday night. That's okay. It's beer night. Every Thursday is my, my beer ration. You can afford to go out to restaurants. Buy expensive beer and, and eat things like like sushi and, and tuna, whereas I'm here eating burgers. That's my lot in life, but I'll try. And, I always make the best that I can. And let's talk about some Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor has a really weird TV schedule. I think I understand the Impact one. I think Pop TV gives you the last taping of impact for free so on the 29th i'll probably do a reaction to impact wrestling ring of honor is weird because it does it from the previous week and it kind of goofs up does ugh, weird time things so but again unless it's a pay-per-view and on Friday night, eh, we'll see. So let's talk about the Ring of Honor. Um, I have no idea what matches, what, what order these matches are going to be in. I'm kind of taking a guess based on what I'm looking at. And I think one day I'm eventually going to do some statistics. And that's just to see if the WWE match holds up for there we go. There's a, I'm sorry about this, folks. I'm unprepared as usual. I mean, my trusty pen. Looking marked down. So, I think in the opening match, it's going to be Christopher Daniels versus Marty Skrull. Skrull's out of there soon, I think. So, I'm going to say Christopher Daniels wins. And. How confident am I with that? Not very. Hmm. I don't know how that match is going to turn out. But let's move on. Next match, Jonathan Gresham versus Zack Sabre Jr. This is my SCL. My Stone Cold Lock. 
And that's going to be Zack Sabre Jr. You can book it here. That's my SDL. Then we have Flip Gordon versus Bully Ray in an I in an I quit match. Bully Ray's done everything. He doesn't have to do anything else. This would be a big push for Flip Gordon. I say Flip Gordon's gonna win. Let's see here. Then you have Dalton Castle versus Matt Tavin. Never heard of Matt Tavin. I've heard of some of these people, but not a lot of them. I'll say Dalton Castle goes over. Hmm, is that going to be match of the night? Or the sleeper match? The nap to match to snooze through. Uh, I think that might be... No, I've never heard of everyone but one of those. It'll probably be a good match. Um, then next we have a four-corner survival match for the women's championship. It's Sumi Sakai versus Madison Rain versus Kara Q versus. Kelly Klein. I think I got that. Name. Sometimes I can't even read my own handwriting. Uh, I hate to say it. Who's it the night? Only because I don't know any of these people. I've heard of Madison Rain because she's the one I've heard of. She's the one who I think is going to go over. No clue, though. Then you have Jeff Cobb versus Adam Page. I'll say this is for the TV title, I think. I'm a Bullet Club guy. I'm going to say the hangman himself, Adam Page, goes over. I don't think he's going, going back to, to NXT or WWE anytime soon. Next, you have so SoCal Uncensored versus the Briscoes versus the Young Bucks for the tag titles. That's Jeez. My heart says the Briscoes. So Young Bucks, they don't need them. So called censored would be fun to see them feud with the Briscoes over the belt. I'll say the Brisco Briscoes go over. And then in the main event of the evening, it's gonna be the Crown Jewel event. The big ring. That I have. It's going to be Jay Lethal versus Cody Rhodes. I think Cody's out of there. He's going to give a big rub to Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal's my winner. And that's Ring of Honor. I remember as far as kind of how I'll rank myself during, well, actually after the show for my recap. Remember, I can be, I guess, in Vince's head. The highest he can be is in Triple H's head. He knows what he's doing. Then it's Triple H's head, Vince's head, Steph's head. And then you go into 50-50 booking, the mark, or the disinterested fan. So we'll see how good I do for Ring of Honor. But right now we're going to take a little break. And now let's talk about some WWE. And wow, this is, there's a lot of matches for TLC. For just being a pay-per-view, there's like, I think, 12 matches. I'm not too sure if there's going to be two of them based on injury. And we'll get into that. Those will be bonus points. Bonus points for me, of course. So let's start off pre-show. I have no idea what's going to be on the pre-show. 
I'll just do this in the order I have them. Again, you can see kind of my list, my TLC. One day, if I ever do get monetized, someone will be able to win these notes and I shall sign them. Sign them right now. Hello, Bo Tom. See my nice signature there. You get an autograph death sheet. So let's start off um, with the matches I have. Um, I got these from a couple different sources. There, there might be, again, the card is always subject to change. There's probably going to be about 11, or in this case, 12 matches. Probably, well, actually, you know what? What should be on the pre show is going to be the mixed match challenge. And oh my God, I don't want to pick this. The winner gets to be the 30th entry in the Royal Rumble. And I don't want any of these people in the Royal Rumble, especially at position 30. The team of Jinder Mahal and Alicia Fox versus R Truth and Carmella. Both won. Again, the respective division, Jinder Mahal and Alicia Fox won. Raw, R Truth, and Carmella won. SmackDown. I'm going to say it's going to be Jinder Mahal. And Alicia Fox. Now, this is definitely the cat net. And then probably another card. Oh wow! They're not. Def they're they're not. They're not defending the Raw Tag Team Titles. Period. Rudy Gable just won them. Just a slap in the face. What else is going to be on the pre-card? What else could be on the pre-card? Oh, I hope it's all oh, the pre-show. Shouldn't be then. Let's just say, for sake of argument, Drew McIntyre versus Finn Balor. Drew McIntyre, I think, is going to go over. Oh, no, 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 no. I changed my mind. It's going to be Finn Balor. But it's going to be Demon Balor. I'll write that down. Demon Balor. Balor. And then I guess we're going to get to the main card, which is the table, ladders, and chairs. Although I could see. Oh, jeez. Although I could. Uh, I'm not even going to say that because that means I really am in Vince's head. But let's say. Let's just off with Elias and Bobby Lashley. With a guitar ladder match, I guess the stipulation is there's going to be a ladder in the ring. The guitar is going to be hung from the ceiling. I don't think the winner is the person who gets the guitar. I think the prize itself is the guitar. And once you smash it over the guy's head, then you're the winner. So it's, it's, it's kind of a weird combination. So I think, just to keep things going, I think Elias is going to win be only because that dastardly Leo rushed the tall. Then the next match, it's going to be Randy Orton versus Rey Mysterio Jr. in a chairs match. So we've had a ladder chairs match. And I think just to build up Randy Orton, I think eventually Randy Orton is going to get that title shot. Oh, you know what I think's missing? I'm going to pen this in here just in case. I think it might be Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura. But wait a second. Let me get back to my original point. I think Randy Orton's going to win. He's going to beat Rey Mysterio, and kind of prolong this, which is good. I, I like the prolonged feuds. Then you have Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura, I think for the U.S. title. I think that's also might be on the pre-show. So that's 13 matches. Wow. We're going to cut one of these. So Shinsuke is keeping that title. Shinsuke Nakamura. That should be a fun match. It's the snooze of the night. I think it's going to be this next match of Natalia versus Ruby Riot in a tables match. 
I don't know. I can't see Ruby Riot winning, but I really can't see Natalia winning either. Shoot. Not my Stone Cold pick. I already used my cat nap. I'll say only because she's not a whiny mom voice. I'll say Ruby Riot, and only because I do have a picture of Ruby Riot. I like that was cool. Again, shout outs to Heidi Lovelace, who was also Ruby Riot. Then I guess it's going to be Braun Strowman versus Baron Corbin. I'll say for right now, back a little bit more. There we go. A little less reverb. There we go. That's probably a little bit better. Need that snowball mic one day for Christmas. If Braun Strowman is clear to wrestle, he's gonna be. He's gonna definitely be Baron Corbin. The two matches I have a question mark about. It's gonna be Braun Strowman versus Baron Corbin. But I do have Braun going over. Baron does nothing for Baron. Um, then Drew McIntyre versus Finn Balor. We don't know what's going to happen there either, so we'll see. Then we get to the cruiserweights. Then we get to a good part of the card. So you have Buddy Murphy versus Cedric Alexander. This is going to be the match. Match of the night. And I think Cedric Alexander is going to go over. So eventually, I think they're going to have him go against Mustafa Ali. Buddy Murphy's held the title, and he's, and he's a good champion. He's a worthy and deserving champion. I just don't think... I think they're going to put the back the belt back on Cedric. Hey, Buddy Murphy had his good time. So, stay there. You have the SmackDown Tag Team Champion. Obviously, the Tag Team Champions who matter. It's going to be the bar of Sheamus and Cesaro versus Jimmy and Jay Uso versus two of the three members of the New Day. There is no Lucha Horse Party rules in this. Only two members of the New Day should show up. I'll say this is going to be the Uso. Yeah, they could do a lot of good stuff. Then let's. I'll say it'll be Ronda Rousey versus Nia Jax. Let me next. You never know. Ronda Rousey's going over. Gee, should this be the. It's Nia Jax. They, they probably want to keep with Tamina. But then they eventually have the woman's tag belt, so that makes sense. Ronda Rousey losing the belt to Nia Jax doesn't do much. Nia Jax is a monster, and she can claim the belt really any time. So it makes sense. Ronda Rousey, the win, and besides Nia Jax, the... No, they lost it. I remember. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey's going to win. They're not going to have her eating losses anytime soon. Then you have Seth Rollins. Versus Dean Ambrose. That's my, well, Ronda Rousey, that's my stone cold lock. Seth Rollins is dropping the belt to Dean Ambrose. That's just going to prolong the feud. So Dean Ambrose is winning. I almost want to say that's another stone cold lock, but I'm not too sure. Then you, then you need a good, good, you actually get to the good wrestling part. You get to SmackDown, which is really good. <laughs> the, the two SmackDown titles. I have no idea why the world why the world title's not in the hasn't been in the main event scene. Should. It's not gonna be though. Darn it. Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles, not in the main event. Well they're both fat, so they, they don't care about being in the main event. As long as they're on the card and they can do some quality stuff. I think that's what those two really care about. So we have Daniel, Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. Daniel Bryan just got the belt. I hope. I think he's going to. I think AJ Styles is going to win. 
I'm going to circle AJ Styles. It's hard to go wrong with that. Do I have a lot of face? No. Heel, face. Heel, heel, face. Heel, face. Face. Tweener. Heel, face. That makes sense. I'll say AJ Styles is going to win, but I say, wait a second, who's that? Is that, is that the spirit of Dusty Rhodes? Dusty Rhodes is giving me intuition into the future. And it's going to be a Dusty finish, baby. You know what that means? AJ Styles is going to win because of a low blow. I think this is just a regular match. So it's going to be AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan. Don't think that's on a ladder either. No. So that's just a regular match. So I say AJ Styles is going to win. Then for the main event of the evening, going to have going to have Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair versus Asuka in the first ever women's three way lat TLC match, where the title is going to be suspended from the top of the ring. And I think. Asuka's going to win because she's going to either pin or make Charlotte tap out after Charlotte incapacitates Becky Lynch. So Becky Lynch doesn't eat the pin. Charlotte, Charlotte can eat, 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 eat the loss. And Asuka's come up on top. So there we go, folks. Of my list. You just made the list again. You have my signature there certifying that this list is correct. So we'll see what happens. Again, so that's the video. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I've made a few changes. Again, also feel free to comment on some of the changes I made. I think I put a new icon in there. I didn't want to see my old girlfriend anymore. So, hey, that's the way it goes. It was a